right, all right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. And the elect begins with 144,000. You know, I got the, you know, the brothers here with me. You know, we finna just jump into another lesson. Um, you, you got a yard down your, uh, uh, your title. Yeah, so, you know, um, yeah, change your diet and eat this word, man. You know, um, our people are into any and every other philosophy and doctrine besides being a Hebrew Israelite, man. The truth of the Bible, the 100% truth. So, you know. Um, it would behoove you. It's imperative that you change what you take in, man, and eat this word. All right? Um, because no matter what you do, you know, so like, um, you can, I, I got this other scripture. You can never go far enough, but but I'm going to read this first because I got another point I'm going to make. Sirach 43 and 30. So like, Sirach 43 and 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go, for ye can never go far enough. Mm. Alright, so so you wanna serve the Lord with all your might, man. You got these other people out here, these niggas in um Islam pray fucking ten times a day. <laughs> Alright, you know, and, and, and they going off, they worshiping a false deity, a false idol. So we want to serve the Howard by Shem and Howard Shah with all of our might. And, and, and we want to go full throttle for him in these last days, man. We want to change the old man. The scriptures say the old man perishes daily and um, the, 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 the inner man is renewed day by day. Roughly paraphrased. So, you know, you want to um, change your whole life around and serve the Howard by Shem and Howard Shah 100%. Matter of fact, Baba Kashah, if I get one more. Um, Matthew 22 and I believe it's 37 Matthew 22 and 37 it says Yahweh Shah said unto him so like it, Matthew 22 and 37 Yahweh Shah said unto him thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind man so you want to serve Yahweh Shah with every inch and ounce of your being man all right, change your diet and eat this word, man. The scriptures tell us to eat the whole roll. It's going to be sweet and bitter. All right, but you got you to gotta take it in and digest it, man. All right, but y'all got it. Hey, does the scripture say, you know, be uh, transformed by the renewing of your mind, man? Oh, yeah, let's get that. Uh, I believe it's an account with Nicodemus. If I'm it's, not it's in the book of uh, Romans, right? Yeah, I believe it's somewhere. Right? Yeah, this, Romans 12. yeah, Romans 12 and 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. Right, be renewed by the, you know, by the, uh, by the, you know, basically, you know, to change up your mind. You know, we will, we, you know, we have learned a lot of BS here in America, man. You know, we went to church, you know, we serve the false idols and different things of that nature. But when we come to this knowledge, wisdom, understand, you know, we have to be renewed when we come, you know, to learn again. Right. You know? and, and how do you be renewed? Is by uh, this word. This is Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-six, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. You know, because it's the word uh, that cleans us, man, that transforms us. You know, when what we take heed to it. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen, verse nine. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? You see. So, hey, we, we have to uh, eat this roll up, all right? Consume the whole roll and, and literally apply it, you know? Get this understanding and apply it to our lives, man, with every step of our being, you see? Mm. So that what we're transformed, you know, by renewing our mind. Because, hey, it's out with the old and and, and in with this, this new, man, which we already knew in past lives, you know? Now it's just being stirred by, the, by pure remembrance. Yeah. So that's why hey, we gotta you know, like we brought on the other script, uh, lesson. We gotta search out the old paths, right. and it's it's all in this word. You see, I was just gonna say, put on a new man. Kind, you know, that's what we gotta do. Especially in this truth, man. We gotta, you know, we have to constantly change, you know, uh, in this truth. You know, coming to this truth, man. You know that shit. Uh, the things you used to do in the world. You know, you. Some brothers had smoking demons. You know, you know, just to name a you know a few examples. So when you come into this truth, man, you're supposed to be a new creature. 
Right. So this is a Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Yahweh, power of hosts. You see? So, hey, man, these, these words, man, are, are going to always return back to uh, the elect. Because the spirit of the, the prophets are subject to the prophets, you see? Not everyone can receive and understand these words. But for the elect, hey, this is our chief joy, man. This is what we love to eat every day. That's right. This is our nutritious diet, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this fills our spirit up, man. You see? That's right. Hey, I got, um, I got 1 Corinthians right here. Chapter 9 and um, verse. I guess I'm going to just start at 24, but it's the NIV, though. I got out the NIV. Okay. Um, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. Mm. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Um, Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. Um, no, verse 27. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I might, I myself would not be disqualified from the prize. So, yeah, man, it's these lessons and these epistles is to ourselves first and foremost, man. I write because the scriptures tell you to work out your own salvation. So you got to make your body your slave, man. All right. And, and, and do the things necessary to make you a calling and election sure. Um, study to show thyself approved, man, and so on and so forth. And all of the things that you have, I should know how Rashad requires from us in these last days, man. You know, you have to um, beat your body, man. Strike a blow to your body to make yourself enslaved and do the will of the most high. Because we know what? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Paul said, the things that I want to do, I do not. You know, so we got to beat our body and, and force ourselves to do what? Fast more, pray more, read more, be more charitable, be more stoic, be more austere, correct brothers, humble down, be more humble. All right, all around the board, we got to we gotta be better, do better. Oh, God, yeah, I had a... Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead, you got something? Yeah, I had Matthew the seventh chapter because like mm -hmm. the bro saying, we got to eat this word, man. This word is our renewing in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we becoming new creatures in your house, man. Can. You know what I'm saying? This uh, Matthew 7 and verse 24 says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sins of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock, right? So this this word is from Yahweh Shai, man. This word is from the Heavenly Father that was given to the, to his son, man. You know what I'm saying? Given unto the elect. You know what I'm saying? Say, uh, he, 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 Yahweh Shai always pray for the elect, man. And this, this renewing in the mind that the bro's going into. The eating of this road, man. Putting... But the putting on of this new man, man. You know what I'm saying? In the spirit of your house, watching me outside. Uh, and, you know, going to renewing yourself, you know, renewing your mind. The scripture says, well, you know, you have to examine yourself, you know, whether you be in the, uh, be in the faith, you know, loosely paraphrasing. You know, constantly, you know, examine ourselves to make sure, you know, we're in the right, you know, being in this truth. You know, making sure, you know, we're, you know, uh, walking in that righteous path that you have by Shemiel Shah set forth, you know, before us. You know, we have to constantly examine ourselves in this truth, man. Because a lot of people proclaim to be in the truth, but they still had them niggerish ways, you know, um, about themselves. Well, yeah, that's super fluidy. They still have uh, pieces of the old man on them, you know. But this is uh, Job 23 and 11. My foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Verse 12. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Mm. All right, because these words are, are faithful and true, man. These words are going to bring us to a kingdom, all right, to immortality, all right, to salvation, man. All right, because, hey, uh, you know what? Let me grab another one. This is Matthew 4 and 4, and it reads, But he answered and said, and this is Yahweh Shai, this is what he said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High, you see? So that's why we got to eat this word up, man, and change ourselves, man. All right, because the Lord don't need us, man. You see? We have to seek the Lord's face, man. We got to seek Him ten times more, as Baruch says. All right? 
And this is the word of the Lord. So we got to eat this up and see what he delights in. All right. And, and see, uh, oh, you know what? I got one more, man. Um, uh, Psalms 119. Yeah. And uh, Psalms 119 and 11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. You see? So once you acknowledge your sins, once you understand and know what offends the Lord, all right? Hey, you're gonna you're gonna do your best to not do that, as the scripture says, offend less. You see, so what? We, again, in verse nine, you know, we gotta take heed to this word, man. That's how we're gonna be cleansed. That's how we're gonna be accepted by the Most High. You know, through Yahweh Shai. All right, because this is all happening for a reason, man. The Lord sent His only begotten Son, which is the Word. You know, Yahweh Shai, so that what? That so that we could come back to the Father, man. He's he's a Yahweh Shai is our mediator, all right. So we gotta take heed to what is written because everything written of Fortem was what written for our learning, specific specifically for us. Because not all Israel is Israel, man. Not all Israel is gonna get this understanding, uh -huh. all right. Hey, I got this in Romans chapter twelve and verse two. <laughs> they say, uh, and be not conformed to this world. Mm. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. And like the brother said, what with thou shall a young man cleanse his ways? Better um watch another word. You know, roughly paraphrasing. But it's a um and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your Hawaii Shem I was shot. So so you know, change your diet, change what you take in, man. All right, keep your ass single, man. Don't look to the left or the right. Focus on your high by shim and how shot, man. So that 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 uh, perhaps he could preserve and save you. All right, because we the Lord say He'll give you the desires of your heart, and nobody in this on this <laughs> nobody wants to just die. All right, we want salvation and everlasting life. So you got to change your ways and your mind and the things that you're taking into your spirit so that you can prove what's the good and acceptable and perfect will of your by Shema was shot, you know? Yeah. Watch the videos, yeah. all right? Well, we'll get the breakdowns, take notes, study, all right? Oh, so uh, um, um, yeah. teach the people what you know. That's that's 100% correct, directly and correctly. Teach the people, man, all right? Yeah, yo, because this isn't a light thing, all right? Here it is, we're, we're closing up the... The gaps, man, you see? And and we're feeding the flock. You can't give the flock some bullshit. You're going to uh, offend the Lord and then lead the flock, you know, to death, man. That's why you got to take this serious, man, with fear and trembling, all right? Get all the understanding you, you can, all right? And and teach, you know, Yahal, uh, teach uh, the, the, the Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? The sheep of the Lord, his flock, all right? Whether they hear or forbear, you know? Cause we know that only the elect is gonna get it, but we can't half-ass this. We can't wing it, man. Yeah. All right, if, if you know if we're the prophets coming back. This, this is our job. Right. This is what we're. This is what we live. You see, we we eat and and, and drink and, and breathe this word day and night, man. This is all we meditate in. You know what I'm saying? On our labor of love. Our labor of love, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And and, and and what we're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, You know. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 3, verse 34. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him, you know. And Yeah, you, careful, careful. Um, so, hey, we're out, like, the, you know, we're out, uh, we're sent away to what? To, to feed the flock, not our own message, all right, but the message of the Lord. That's why it's important to consume this word, man, to put it in your inward parts, you see? Because at the end of the day, all right, when we get into Jacob's trouble, which we're, we're in the beginning stages of it, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times and, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is going to be our treasure in that time, you see? But but if we were just bullshitting right now and not taking this serious, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, we're going to be like one of those guys that say, oh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons you know that, that one scripture all right that is scary as fuck man you know so that's why we gotta keep the fear of the lord ever before us man and move with that same fear like noah building the ark because we're building a spiritual ark now man you see 
So we got to take this serious. This this has to be our regimen, our meal plan is this word, man. You see? That's this right. is what's going to bring us to everlasting life, man. Mercy and forgiveness. All right? To sit on the throne with Yahweh Shai. All right? God. Immortality. Not taste death. Like, all these great things come with this this meal, man. Because in that second, that's what I believe. The second part it says, you know, those that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, those that basically put off... Uh, the uh, mortal clothing and put on the immortal, yeah. you know, loosely paraphrasing. You know, we want to be, you know, we want to be those men, Lord willing, you know, that, you know, fully shed off this world, you know, that basically what stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, doing, you know, the things he required of us, you know. God. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash, the bondage to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught us his truth, and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, and Kwam Yasharala.